Right now, the Heat are losing a little bit of sleep. They are on the brink. And words I never thought I would utter, but this is the great part about our show. Joining us on the Shell Pennzoil performance line, mogul slash rapper slash Heat fan, super fan, Rick Ross is in the house. Jay, take it away, my man. Ricky Rose, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? What's happening, baby? What's happening, baby? I'm wonderful. Hey, man, start, kick me off with this. I, did you fly to Columbia to get a new set of veneers? Did this really go down? Man, I flew to Columbia to get a new set of veneers, baby. Man, you doing I it. I made that happen. The boss had to do that. <laughs> All right, let's get into some NBA talk, man. Tell me about what it's been like to see your squad. Obviously, the last time they were in the NBA Finals, LeBron James was there with D-Wade and Chris Boss. We're now watching what they're doing with Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero, uh, which is turning into like a legend down in the Miami area. How does that make you feel watching your squad play the way they're playing? Man, to be honest, I'm totally excited. Um, I feel like we got an exceptional club starting with Pat Riley, Mickey Harrison. Eric Spostra, aka La Spostra Nostra. And more importantly, <laughs> man, this is the first time, this is the first year, this is the first season our new team together just to see what Jimmy Butler, aka Jimmy Jesus, aka Jimmy Bucket, just to see what he's doing, man. He being a leader to a lot of young cats, bam, hero. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling what Robinson's doing, the dragon, you know, just the whole squad. Rick, how does it feel like when you watch this see obviously led by Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Buckets? Like it just feels like Look, they're down 3-1 right now, but this team just epitomizes that grit, that grind that is so just, it's known down in Miami. Like, that, that's, it seems like they play their games in the mud all the time. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what we're saying. You know, at the beginning of the season, uh, the predictions were we, we may not even make the playoffs. Here we are in the finals. And not only that, we, you know, we making LeBron them fight like dogs. Man, they stop, man. It's the difference. We know the Lakers got the superstars. Man, Rick, stop, man. Stop that. Mode. Double R, stop. Starving. Stop it, Double R. That's stop, key, man. You man. know, Key's a Laker fan, Rick. So that, that's, know, that's what I deal with all no, day, every know, day here, he man. He know what time it is. No, nah, that's what it is. I understand what's going on with the Lake show. I understand. I understand Kobe legacy. I know what it is. No. Nah. That's a piece of Nipsey Hustle. I know what it is. But, but guess what? What's that? Man, we the ones starving. We the youngsters. And, boy, we giving them boys hell. A.D. thought he was back in goddamn New Orleans as the unibrow. You dig? People, they, we had them looking confused. But guess what? It ain't over, baby. No, it, it, it pretty much is, though. You know, you know I'm going to keep it to keep it to you 100. It pretty much no, it is. Ain't. Oh, man, ain't no, no, it ain't. Rick, check this out. Rick, this hold on. No, that. Rick, hold on, man. <laughs> You we not coming here, Rick. Rick, Get Rick him, check this Rick. out, man. I can talk that talk too, but at the end of the day, there's no way y'all getting ready to run three on us. It's over. No, Ain't you no... can't say that. Man, how could I you not? Say that. After, LeBron's after not getting ready Jimmy, to lose. Jimmy, LeBron's Jimmy, getting ready to lose Jimmy's three the first in a row. Player in the history, he hit forty. He hit 40 on Braun. He kept Braun. He shut Braun down. AD ain't even know where he was Man, at. stop. Man, now you 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 putting out false narratives. Man, he ain't shutting no Braun no, down. Man, stop. Let, let, let him rep his squad, kid. Real. That's how we went up on game three without Bear, okay. without the Dragon. But, 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 now we just going to tweak it out. No. I'm telling you, man. No, nah, hey, come on, I, man. Rick, I'll say this. If y'all had, if you, if you guys had Goran Dragic, yo, it, it, it might have been a battle. Man, go on with that. Man, no, come, well, come, come on, come on, on Keith. Stop. You felt like stop, they, man, they, they we missed the playmaking last night. We had Dragic. We know if we had that, but it's, we we gonna do it without him if we got. Rick, to. we got we up, we got off. up, we got and up two zero. That's, that's how the Miami Heat got the fans feeling that we gonna pull it off, and that's the only thing that matters. We we got up two zero, and then we let up. Then we let up. Y'all yeah, popped us. Up. They took Y'all popped us. They took one. Y'all didn't we, let up. We got up 2-0. They popped us. We came right back and getting ready to close the deal. But look, check this out, though, Rick. No, no you you excited, and, I, and I'm happy you're excited. Your, your blood boiling, and I love that. But always remember who raised LeBron at that playground. His name was Eric Spolstra. Used to be the cameraman. Used to be the camera, the video tech guy. I, yeah, I get, him. I get that he won two. I yeah, get that he won him. two for y'all. I get he that. The one who gave LeBron the game, and remember me, be, me watching LeBron the way I have. I didn't see him in these positions. Man, and LeBron was a dog before. when he got down to Miami. That's why they went and got him from Cleveland. What you mean he raised him? He was a dog, but he wasn't the man, championship. Man, he wasn't stop, a championship man. dog. The dude 
took he took Cleveland. Come on, Rick. When he, he, got, Rick, Miami, that's when Rick, he took Ocho he took to Cleveland. Thank you, Rick. Kid, on his back, you, Rick. May y'all stop, stop, man. Kid, but stop. his basketball IQ went through the roof. As, Eric as you mature, as, as you mature, your IQ gon' go up if you worth anything. We all know that. Come yeah, on, man, stop. Great players like Shaquille O'Neal and you know Dwayne Wade. You know, I mean, y'all should be claiming Shaq like that though. Season, we Ooh, y'all y'all claim y'all Shaq. Y'all been home already. Man, man stop, right, man, right, 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 stop. Let, let me ask you one last serious question, if man. What, what do you? What are your thoughts, brother, on everything that the NBA has been doing? Obviously, people are saying that number, numbers are down in all sports, NFL, uh, baseball, hockey. But what are your thoughts on what the NBA is doing from a social justice perspective? You know, uh, to me, I think the most important thing is making sure we use the platform. And I believe the players have been doing a great job keeping the, 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 the social consciousness aware in the platform, on the platform. You know, I think that's what it's about. At the same time, watching the soldiers move forward and, and, and making sure we remain uh, progressive. That's what it's all about with me. You know, the sport, we're going to always love the sport. The sport going to always be there. But as a people, that's the priority right now. You know what I mean? And I, I appreciate what the, what the team and the sport are doing. Respect, Rick. Yeah. Thank you, man. Well Thank said. You. Well said. Rick, get ready to perhaps get back into the series Friday night, that's the best part about being a fan. Fan is short for fanatic. And Key brought it real. You brought it real. Really appreciate you joining us. I'm going to hit him on the sidebar with a bet. I ain't going to let everybody know. Rick, we don't yeah, okay. talk about Don't back down from Key. We, we, we could do that. We could do that. That's too easy. Yeah, on the sidebar, though. We <laughs> do that. That's, that's, what side what that's what I want. But I always remember that LeBron James was raised at that playground by Eric Spolstra. Man, stop, man. That's when his basketball (laughs) IQ went through the rim. He could always jump out the gym, but that's when his IQ went through the rim. We got to let him have the last word on that great lyric. It's our show, but that is a mic drop for the ages. Rick, thanks for joining us this morning, man. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Rose. Man, I love you guys. Keep hustling. Respect. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.